We take a live look. This is the Dallas DFW Airport, one of the busier airports in the world, as you know. 57 the high, 34 the low there. That is the official recording site, by the way, of the Metroplex. There's your records, 81. A record low of 11. But the thing to note about the high and low today was within degree in both cases of the typical temperature this time of year. I tell you what hasn't been typical. So it was above freezing this morning. Again, the coldest night we've had so far at DFW this winter, 27 degrees. That was this week, by the way. It was the only second hard freeze so far this season. A hard freeze is 28 degrees or lower and pretty much kills your fall plants. Typically by midwinter, and that's where we're at, we're halfway through winter, 7.9 hard freezes is the 123 year average. In fact, four years ago we had 10 of them. And look what's been happening. We've hardly gotten hard freezes by the time we got to midwinter. In fact, there was just one three years ago, and this year, of course, there's that too. So, anyway. Rain. Rain is in the forecast. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's a great day. Rain is in the forecast starting Monday night, overnight hours into Tuesday. And Tuesday's looking pretty wet. And it's all because of this thing right here. This is a low, upper level low that's going to be parked out by Southern California in the Baja for literally days on end, for about three days before it finally kicks out. And when you have a really strong low here, you have unsettled weather here over a large swath of Texas in the desert southwest. In fact, they're expecting a lot of rain. So until this thing moves out, we keep rain in the forecast. And that means rain is in the forecast all the way into early Friday. And there's another system right behind that might get us rain by, by the weekend following. But look at these precip chances. Now, since this summer, four days in a row of measurable rain at DFW, it has happened twice. So we might get that kind of rain. And it'll be a good rain as well because there'll be several waves of it. By the way, Monday's dry. You got clouds at the end of the day with us tonight in the overnight hours. That's when the rain chances start. Most of this just showers, not much in thunderstorms or anything like that. But you can see how the rain continues just to linger over the area. This is into Wednesday, but it continues really into Thursday, into early. Early Friday. And you can see that in the seven day forecast. A couple of nice days, including Martin Luther King Day on Monday, upper 60s. But then we've got the clouds and the rain right after the parades. Those rain chances linger into Friday morning.